the foods that someone chooses to eat and the way it is digested in the body makes the difference in whether someone can absorb the nutrition from these foods. So the management and the treatment is very important, as well as the meal plan. The first thing when I see a new patient is maybe not what I tell them, but what I hear from them. It's very important that we listen, and we listen to the concerns and the symptoms that a patient is having, so that what I tell a patient applies to the, that patient, and I'm speaking to the needs of an individual, and not just the management of everybody. But some of the things are very similar, and the importance of increasing protein levels in, from the food sources that they're getting, and to have these food sources that have protein in them throughout the day is very important. So this is something I will tell everybody. Although all patients are very different and unique in certain ways, there is a pattern that we can use to feed patients off of. And this is a diet that has small feedings, usually six, five to six throughout the day, so that you give a steady energy load and try to keep the glycemic uh, index. In other words, we try not to increase their insulin too high. This also can help with the fatigue that's associated with syndrome as well.